Hello audience! This is your host Cindy and you are watching the book reviewer. I have another book review to share. So in an earlier video I had reviewed The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and that is part of the series but that is not what I'm going to be <laughs> reviewing today. This one is part of the Chronicles of Narnia series and this is the first book actually in the series it's called The Magician's Nephew by C.S. Lewis and it's just what it sounds like it's The Magician's Nephew the magician's name is Uncle Andrew and the nephew his name is Diggory and he meets this girl named Polly and at first Polly thinks Diggory is a little bit of a weird name um, but to a woman it, it might sound a little strange at first but you know you get used to it you learn to love a name that you know that a boy of yours is, has and you learn to like it. Um, so this book is only 202 pages. Um, this is the first one in the series like I said. Um, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is the second book. I did not know that at first but it does say here The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is the second one. So this guy Diggory and this this little girl named Polly they go on an adventure. Um, they go into kind of another world and there they meet who would become Jadis is the evil queen of Narnia and they see the beginnings of Narnia they meet Aslan the lion that we see in the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe as well. Um, I must be honest here the first two chapters are what I found were to be kind of slow going and it has a lot of dialogue um, it's similar to when you walk in on a conversation or in the middle of a play and you use the dialogue to figure out what's going on what's important what's not and if it affects you in any way shape or form and so that's what I experienced the first two chapters but after that it really picked up um, in the third or so chapters we meet Jadis the witch that I mentioned and then in the last few chapters we meet Aslan who is kind of the king of Narnia and he invents the talking beasts and they are given the land and they are told to take care of it they're told to um, give respect to one another because there are all kinds of animals there there are jaguars, there are monkeys, there are bears and in our world those animals would prey on each other. I mean the jaguars and the rabbits and and all of these animals that would normally eat each other they don't and that's kind of a distinction of their world versus ours and so um, Diggory and Polly are given rings by this uncle Andrew and they are sent to the other world and this is 
kind of an experiment and he calls them I think test subjects or lab rats or something something <laughs> frankly degrading but um, they are really interested and they are the first kids to kind of come and visit the Uncle Andrew in a while and so they find Jadis, they find Aslan, they see the kind of birth of Narnia and they they frankly want to stay there but they know they can't because they're children. They want to go home, they want to um, spend time with their families and everything. So um, this is not a long book like I said it's 202 pages this is a scholastic book which I have done in the past um, I would really really recommend this book um, this is a I think it's a fiction book it might be juvenile fiction um, but you can find it at your local library um, Amazon definitely will have it I'll put a link down in the description below where you can find it. Um, eBay would have it. And your local bookstore, <laughs> if you can find one nowadays, would have it. Um, this would be a great read just about for anybody. It, You can take it for what it is and read it or not. Um, leave me a comment down below if you have read this book, if you've liked it, if you've hated it, if you have feelings one way or another about the series. I mean, it's kind of comparable to Lord of the Rings or something like that, some of those series. Um, so, um, check this out. Um, leave me a comment down below if you have read it or if your child's read it. Or maybe as you're reading it together, what you guys think. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. Don't stop believing. And we will see you tomorrow. Oh, and if you guys have any books you want me to review, leave them down in the comments below. And I will see if I can choose your book to be reviewed. And, like I've mentioned in a couple other videos, I still would like to do a special series of uh, kind of a Q&A. If you'll leave your question down in the description below with the hashtag AskTBR. And I just might make a series if there are enough questions. Thanks, guys. See you again tomorrow. Bye.